Hi I'm Monk and this is the Monk Way, here are 3 stocks I bought in May, we have 2 retail stocks, and an old favorite in PayPal, we'll look at why I bought these companies and how they're doing so far, subscribe and hit that bell for more stock investing videos, I update you guys on every purchase, and leave a like if you still shop in real life. These are 3 stocks that I bought in recently, if you were in my stock market group, you would get instant emails of when I buy these companies, look below in the description for a 50% off coupon, only for the next day. I decided to buy 2 retail companies on nice dips, Amazon might be taking over everything but retail is not dead, in 2017, online retail was 13% of all purchases, compared to 87% of offline retail, yes this is a trend that will keep going up but offline retail is still 87%, as long as these companies can increase their online sales, they will survive and adapt, I would only feel comfortable buying retail shops I've used personally, and these two are ones that had great customer service, and pleasant experiences all around, the first buy was Walmart on May 17th, at $87.03, then we have PayPal on May 18th, at $80.95, and lastly Best Buy on May 30th, for $69.49, for a total of $20,500 invested. The first investment in Walmart was because it's on a nice dip, as we can see, they're on a 23% dip since January, they beat their recent earnings report so this dip is without good reason an EPS of $1.14, versus $1.13 expected, and a revenue of $122 billion versus $120, their online sales were up 33% for this quarter, seems like good news all around, what investors didn't love is their investment in Flipkart, which was a huge purchase, Flipkart is an Indian online store that will allow Walmart to really get into that country, it comes with extra costs, which might reduce their next earnings by 25 to 30 cents. I personally like Walmart as a store, their online ordering and grocery orders are great. Deliveries are always on time with extremely cheap fees, and returns are never denied. Customer service is top notch and I've never had a real problem using this store, I'm looking for at least 10% in returns over the next few months, or about $1,000, so far it's down at $82.98 versus 87.03 buying price, down 4.7%, this just means it's a longer keep, it's a company I have no problems keeping for the long term, they have good value numbers and I think it's a low to medium risk stock right now, buying stocks in the short term can sometimes lead to negative prices like this, but if you buy a company you believe in, there's no reason at all to sell it and lose your money, in a situation where it's down 5%, I'm not even a little emotional, because it's such a safe stock, and $10,000 is only 5% of my portfolio, the only thing to do now is to wait until it's in the green. The second purchase was PayPal, a company I use personally, they're not on a dip right now but I think they'll have more gains in the near future. I bought them on the news of their iZettle purchase, this was a $2.2 billion buy. IZL is a company similar to Square, where they allow simple credit card payments on their platform. This should allow PayPal to expand in the European markets and also compete with Square. PayPal also beat their most recent earnings report, I'm looking for at least 5% in the coming weeks. I trust PayPal so even if they drop, I'll keep it for longer term. So far they're up at 83.25, or 2.8%. They're not the best value in terms of numbers, but not crazy high like AMD, a medium value stock. I use PayPal for payments I receive online, for a six-figure business, PayPal is definitely profiting from the fees, not only fees but currency exchange, PayPal takes a small but significant cut every time I exchange USD to my Canadian dollars. This is about $4,000 over the year for a business my size, and that's just one customer, I can see that PayPal will continue to grow with more and more online businesses starting up. This is a company expanding with the trend of new online businesses, even my stock market group received payments in PayPal, not the safest company in the world but from personal experience, I would say this is a safe company. This is a medium risk stock right now. And third we have another retail stock in Best Buy. Walmart and Best Buy are one of the first retail stocks I've invested in, most of my past investments were in technology stocks and banks, with $1 store, so this should be an interesting learning experience, this is one retail company that went up 180% over the past 5 years, while everyone else was going down, Best Buy is on a nice 13% dip, even after a good earnings report, they beat earnings with an EPS of 82 cents versus 75 cents expected, and 9.1 billion in revenue, beating 8.74 billion expected, the problem was a 12% increase in online sales, less than a 22% increase last year, Amazon is definitely affecting all retailers which seems like an overreaction to me, Best Buy has nice stores, with great showrooms which allows you to test the product out before buying, I think this allows them to stand out from Amazon which has no live testing, their online store is easy to order from and returns are simple if you live near a Best Buy. Recently I bought a new mouse, it was as simple as going into the store, testing a few out, and walking out with one, something you can't do with Amazon, which requires waiting two days and not knowing if it's the right product for you. I'm looking for 10% over the coming month, or at least $500, this one is down just a bit at 68.85 today, 0.7% in the red.
said, This is a good valued stock at a low to medium risk. Make sure to check out Monk's Market Moves, a stock market group with instant updates of when I buy these stocks, including an updated look at my complete stock portfolio with over 200,000 invested, along with stocks I'm interested in buying, way before my videos are made. Recent wins include AMD at a 37% profit and Facebook at a 6% profit. There'll be many new buys in June, so join now and never miss a hot stock. Look in the description for a 50% off coupon. This lasts a lifetime but I'm closing the coupon in one more day, join now before this deal is gone. Subscribe and hit that bell for more stock buying videos. I make them every time I buy anything to keep you updated, and leave a like for the transparency, keep watching to buy the hot stocks, the monk way.